So how do you train your coupling mastery skills, especially when it comes to navigating shadows and challenges and the things that feel really uncomfortable in your relationship, in your connections? How do you master that? Well, here is the hint. You've got to be exposed to those situations to discover the energetic and emotional response that is the most adapted, most masterful to what you are, you know, being exposed to in the relationship. We are talking about when your partner is having challenging shadow emotions, right? So how do you train your energetic or emotional response uh, to what's happening? Well, you've got to be exposed to those shadows to discover internally the sensations and the places where you can modify, slightly change, change your narrative, change what you say to them, change your response, change your boundaries, you know, adapt, move, what you do. And so this is an art form. I can give you different sequences and different possibilities and different strategies, tactics on how to respond to your partner's shadows, but all that is going to be just in your head if it's not embodied, integrated. So rationalizing it is really an important step, right? Understanding the landscape and the strategies, what is mature and what is immature, all that is really important. It's important to understand it mentally. But then when it comes to the, the embodied manifestation, you've got to jump in the pool. You've got to learn how to swim by jumping in the ocean and by being exposed to, to water, basically. So if you're not exposed to, your, to a partner's shadows, you're not going, you are going to think you've got it figured out, but then when it hits you, you're going to discover things that you go like, oh, fuck, actually I don't. Actually there is something inside of me that I still didn't master. And one of the, you know, one of the traps when, you, when there is a shadow in your partner's uh, field, it is to go into reactive mode. If your partner starts criticizing you or being triggered by what you are doing, trying to micromanage you or change your behaviors and comes with endless requests and, you know, it's like some of this stuff, especially when it comes to criticism or attack or blame, uh, you know, the temptation to go into... Um, into fight mode or into flight and, you know, just I'm out of here um, is really, really, really high. And so instead of getting, you know, God knows, maybe defensive and reactive and fighting back, yeah, but what about you, you know, and you start entering into these blaming attacks and wars, you go like, no, just, just stay present, discover where is it hitting you, where is it triggering you. And, uh, you know, I'm talking out of experience. I've been in, you know, many relationships and sometimes I go, what the fuck? I miss the opportunity to just stay present with what my partner was saying and be like, okay, okay, that feels uncomfortable and notice it, the place inside of you. And instead of going reactive, you just like move your body, this, you know, you feel how it feels. Oh, wow, it hurts. There is sadness or there is rage, I can feel it boiling, but don't go into action, don't go into reactive mode, and stay present, you know, <laughs> keep it going, keep it coming, you know, that's something that you can do with your partner, you can invite your partner to be real, real, even if what they are expressing is not necessarily mature, it might, they might be coming from a very mature place, maybe what they are saying is completely not true, you cannot relate at all to what they are um you know, projecting on you maybe, or projecting in their own field, but guess what? It's like, it's going to be a really interesting experience to allow this, this fire to, to hit you in different places and potentially be simply present with it. That's one of the possible responses, you know, to just feel it in your system. Feel how this impacts your field. Feel why it triggers you. Why does it, you know, what is the place? Where is the place where this is hitting your field? So that's one of the possible responses. Another possible response is, okay, step out of the field. You go like, stop. Pause right there. I don't have time for this. That's it. That's a very solid and strong boundary. Just stop. Stop. I don't have time 
for this right now. I would love to hear what you have to say, but we're going to create another container, another time, and we're going to both sit down, have a check-in, and see what's alive inside of you. So that's a valid response as well, you know. So you have to be exposed to shadows, to shadow outbreaks, to discover what is the best energetic emotional strategy to respond to your partner's shadows, okay? So right now we are talking about when there is something coming into your field, right? But sometimes you are the one who is initiating, right? You might be exposed, for instance, to a jealousy trigger. You see your partner uh, flirting, <laughs> with somebody else, you, you know, you might be like, uh, there is nothing going on, they are just having a nice chat, there is nothing to be worried about, she's with you, she chooses you, or he chooses you, you know, but then there is still like this energetic and emotional response, so this time you are the one who is being exposed to a shadow emotion, and you've got to go and check it out, and be like, okay, yeah, I'm getting triggered, I'm getting a response, I'm entering into reactive mode. And then you go like, what do I do with this? How do I circulate this energy? Do I change my narrative? Do I change the frames that I'm, I have in my mind, the belief systems that I have around that? Uh, does this trigger some old traumas of cheating episodes? You know, all that. It's really important to go and, and be exposed to it so that you can actually go like, okay, yeah, there is some shadows there. Now I discover the strategies and the pathways to, uh, to modify, adapt, transmit, and move from immature responses to mature responses when there is a shadow outbreak in your relationship or in your coupling experience, right? So, uh, you know, we are not going to go into the full range of the possible strategies that you can use, but what's important to know is that how do you train all that? Jump into relationships, be, be present, stay present when shadows hit, don't run away, be present with what's alive there and discover the best tactics, the best strategies, the mature responses to the shadow outbreaks in your relationship. The other, you know, the terms, you've got to practice, practice a lot by being in your relationships and being exposed to, to shadows. If you want to be a shadow master, that's what you need to do, okay? And uh, what does it mean to be a shadow master? It means having mastery on how to navigate shadows in yourself or in your partner as well, or when it's simply hitting your field as a coupling experience. Okay? Amazing. Well, if you want to know more about all that, I do, I'm doing immersions, go and check on my website, vitalcoaching.com, and you can message me on WhatsApp. Um, yeah, go figure it out. You know how to find me. <laughs> and um, yeah, we can do one-on-one -on -one sessions if you are somewhere around the world and you have no idea how to navigate uh, what's happening in your relationship. I'll be happy to give you a hand. Okay, love you.